Hello and welcome to this week's new releases and sneak peeks. Um, I've got a few things to talk about today so I'll get right on in. Um, first up we have Be Perfect and they have sneak peeked a few of the shades from their new palette. I think it's Manifest Dream Big. Um, looking at the site I believe the full reveal will be tonight, so 7pm BST. So looking at it I've got the uh, Carnival Love Tahiti palette so uh, I don't think it's going to be one that I'm adding to my collection but it does look beautiful so far that blue and the pink they look like they're going to go beautifully together so whilst it's uh, not necessarily something I'm going to be adding to my collection it's not because I don't like it um, it's just because I don't need it not that I really need anything but hey ho so uh, yeah, let me know if this is something you're going to be picking up. It does look very beautiful. And what do I have next? Next up, I have Sash Slay Cosmetics. And they are releasing their Spring Inspired palette, Euphoric Dreams. And it is a mixture of mattes and shimmers and will launch on the 15th of April. There's no time or anything on that um it looks from the picture i can see to be quite a pastelly palette this is a brand i've not heard of before if you have if you know what this formula is like please do let me know um it does look very pretty although i i have this already in my collection these shades um but yeah if you've tried anything from sash slay cosmetics i don't know if i'm saying that right um then let me know what the quality is like because I'm definitely going to be keeping my eye on the brand. So next up, Lois Cosmetics is sneak peeking a new release and this one is super exciting. I have both of Lois Cosmetics palettes, the Gone Rogue and the Rose Metal and I love them both. The quality of the shadows is amazing, absolutely amazing. And Lois Cosmetics is a UK indie brand this looks really interesting i know it's going to be launching the end of april um she's not got a set date as yet um and it says it's a story of tragedy love and loss so it's going to be a palette with a story and just looking at the bits i can see so far the artwork and that green i am so excited so so excited and um, this will definitely be joining my collection. Wow. So yes, let me know. You're going to be picking this up. It just looks beautiful. That green, that green. Oh my words. I need it. I need it. Anyway, I don't need to convince myself because I'm already going to get it. So let's move on. We have Dandelions Co. And they are showing their first four new shades. And they are launching next weekend on the 10th of April, which is also when the birthday sale is going to be. Um, they've not announced a time as yet. It does say it's there to be announced soon. These four colours do look beautiful. They do look beautiful. I haven't tried anything from Dandelions Co. as yet, um, but they're definitely on my radar. So yeah, let me know if you're going to be picking any of these up. They do look very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. All four of them. Beautiful. So next up, we have Lethal Cosmetics with their new release, Glitch. And they are multi-chrome liquid eyeshadows. I love every single one of them. They look stunning. So they're going to be launching on Saturday the 10th of April, 1pm CEST. And they are retailing for between 21 euros and 24 euros. That's for 7 mil or 20.24 fluid ounces. And they are absolutely stunning. I do have to say that if I'm honest, I more than likely wouldn't use them. I would very likely keep swatching them to look at how beautiful they are. But liquid eyeshadows aren't something I often reach for. I do already have a couple from Lois Cosmetics, um, which I do occasionally pop over black eyeliner. 
we'll see down the line but at the moment i'm going to be leaving this but they they just look beautiful gateway deadlock and zero day they've just caught my eye big time they look so beautiful yeah we'll, we'll see down the line let me know if you're going to be picking any of these up they look very very beautiful I did see their YouTube video introducing these and the shifts in these. If you are a fan of liquid eyeshadows with amazing multi-chrome shifts, then you're going to love these, definitely. So yes, moving on. I can't even find, where's the mouse thing? There it is. So next up is a mention of a restock of a very sought after palette and I know why because I have it and it's amazing. And that is the Club Nebula palette from Kaleidos and Angelica Nyqvist. This palette is stunning. I love it. I've used it quite a few times now. Every single shade. I love them. And it's going to be restocking on the 14th of April, 8pm PST. I can highly recommend this it is one of my favorite palettes that i own i love it so yeah i thought i'd give that a mention for if you've been waiting for that to be restocked so yes that will be the 14th of april let's move on so next up is a brand i've heard of um and i've heard a few people talk about and mainly amy loves makeup um i know she has a few of the products from M Cosmetics. They have already released, by the looks of it, their Multichrome Magic Collection. Yes, it's available now. So their promotional launch price is 20 Canadian dollars. And then when they restock, they will be available for 22 Canadian dollars. Um, these look beautiful. I've never tried anything from M Cosmetics. Let me know if you have. Um, all four of them look beautiful. I do have to say though, um, the second one and the fourth one, I haven't got my glasses on and it's a really funny font so I can't read the names of the shades but the second one and the fourth one do look to be very similar. I don't know. So yeah, I thought I'd give them a mention because they do look beautiful. So yeah, again, let me know if you're going to be picking any of these up. And moving on. Moving on, this one excites me. <laughs> You will see why in just a moment. So, Foolish Hustle Lashes have revealed the inside of their green bandana palette. Can you guess why I love it? It looks beautiful. It looks so beautiful. I've not tried anything from Foolish Hustle Lashes. So, if you have, please let me know what the quality's like. Let me know what you think of them because it's definitely... Definitely a brand I'm interested in. And this palette just looks beautiful. I am a sucker for green. As many of you, if not all of you, will already know, I love my greens. And it does look very, very pretty. Um, I do believe there are pressed glitters in there, looking at it. I'm not 100% sure. But it does look like there are, which is absolutely fine by me because I love me a pressed glitter. Um, but not necessarily so great if you don't um, but yeah let me know if you've tried anything from foolish hustle lashes and if you have what's the formula like let me know so what else do i have on my list here right this is another brand that i had not heard of before they came up on my news feed on instagram and this is revo cosmetics revo revo i'm not sure how you pronounce that and they have released their Hypnotic Nights palettes. What does it say here? It's inspired by the night sky. There are nine mattes and six shimmers, and it is available now for 35 US dollars. It looks like a very beautiful, almost pastel y kind of muted palette. Looking at the swatches, the swatches do look really, really nice really really nice again this is a color story i have multiple times over i believe in my collection um yeah looking at this this is definitely a brand i'm going to be keeping my eye on so have any of you heard of revo cosmetics and if so have you tried anything are they good 
Should I be keeping my eye on them? Let me know. Um, yeah, I wanted to give that a mention because it does look beautiful. So moving on to another UK indie brand. This is Carla Cosmetics. I have yet to try anything from Carla Cosmetics, but believe me when I say they're on my list. And Carla Cosmetics has released six new pastel duochrome loose eyeshadows. These have caught my eye. They have definitely caught my eye. I couldn't even pick a shade. They, all six of them look beautiful. It could be that something from this collection may be the first things I try from Carla Cosmetics. They've definitely caught my eye, but we will see. So yeah, these six beautiful pastel duochrome eyeshadows from Carla Cosmetics. Let me know if you guys are picking these up. So next up has got to be one of the cutest palettes I have seen in a while. It's absolutely beautiful. And this is Sugar Drizzle Polish. I think that's it, Sugar Drizzle Polish. And they have released their Raccoon Inspired Palette. Um, it is available on the Etsy shop. There are two metallics, two shimmers, three mattes and two soft duochromes. I don't have any more information other than that. But look, <laughs> that packaging is to die for. Absolutely to die for. The swatches look really good. I, I have all of these shades, but look at that packaging. Oh, his little face. If it wasn't for the packaging, I would have said, oh, it's a beautiful palette, but I have this already in my collection. My eye just keeps getting drawn back to that cute raccoon. <laughs> packaging is just the cutest, just the cutest his little face and his little nose oh. so yes moving on before I convince myself to buy it <laughs> um, we have so next up is Haunting Hell Beauty and they have coming soon new paint pots so I have a picture of the first of their new paint pot liners and this looks beautiful this is so cute. I'm loving water activated liners recently. Um, but the looks of it, I believe that's what these are. But oh my god, how cute. And they also do have a warm version coming soon. But if I was going to get any, it would definitely be this. Blue, green and purple. I couldn't ask for anything better than those three shades together. Um, but yeah, I don't have any more information. I don't have any prices. Or a release date or anything like that um but yeah i thought i would pop these up because these are interesting these are interesting and yeah as you will already know if you watch my channel i love them i do i have quite a few <laughs> but yeah i wanted to give them a mention and this one i had to pop up it's a sneak peek of a palette from widow witch lashes and it's the Adams Family. So they are releasing their new collection, which is inspired by the Adams Family. I grew up adoring the Adams Family. I don't know what it looks like on the inside, but I want it for the packaging. <laughs> it's purple and it's the Adams Family. What? <sighs> this is going to be a tough one for me because. The packaging just makes me want it instantly. So as soon as I have any more information, any pictures of the inside of the palette, I will let you know. But I have my eye on this. I really have my eye on this. The child in me is so excited. So excited. Anyways, let's move on. <laughs> So next up is another brand that I have not heard of and this is My Little One Cosmetics and they have released their Vocaloid palette. Vocaloid? Vocaloid? Um, it's available now. It's a mix of mattes and shimmers and retails for $19.99. That's US dollars. This is 
cute. This is super, super cute. Super cute. <sighs> Again, it's a brand that I haven't tried anything from, and I don't know anybody that's tried anything from them. If you have, then let me know what the formula's like, because the artwork on this palette is just so cute, and the colour story is beautiful. There does look to be a couple of shades that are very, very similar and more than likely, from what I can tell in this picture, would look very similar on the eye. But I'm definitely going to be keeping my eye on this brand and please do let me know if uh, you've tried their formula. So next up, I showed you the sneak peek for this palette last week. This is from Cursed Cosmetics and it is the Spellbook Eyeshadow Palette, which is available now for $32, I believe that's US dollars, don't quote me on that, and it is a mix of mattes, shimmers and glitters, again I love my glitters so that wouldn't bother me if you're not a fan of pressed glitters, maybe this isn't for you, um, I was so excited for this, um, I won't be picking this up be just purely because there are so many neutrals in in this palette and I so rarely wear neutral colours, browns. So uh, as much as I would love to have the Spellbook palette, it would mainly be, or only be really, for the packaging. So I am going to pass on this one. But I do have my eye on Cursed Cosmetics because they seem to release some really interesting products. So they're definitely on my radar. Definitely on my radar. Let me know if any of you guys are going to be picking this up because if you love your neutrals and a pop of colour, this, this could be exactly the one for you. So yeah, let me know if you're going to pick it up. So yeah, I did want to show you the inside of that palette. So, so next up, Melt Cosmetics have revealed their Mary Jane collection. It is a palette and two glitter pots, and they are coming soon. Um, it's not a collection for me. It's just too neutral, too grey. So yeah, although this is not a collection for me, I can appreciate how beautiful it looks. And... Uh, and yeah, I can uh, I can see a lot of my friends liking this. I guess I would say Nikki Raven is going to love this. I think so. Um, maybe not the pots of glitter, but the palette. I think she's going to love. But we'll see. Um, yeah, I wanted to give it a mention just because when Melt launch collections, they they put so much thought into it. They really do make a big deal of it, and their promotional pictures are always beautiful. So yes, that is the Mary Jane collection from Melt Cosmetics and that is coming soon. So here we have a picture. This is from Alien Cosmetics, which are a brand I firmly have my eye on and uh, definitely will be trying at some point this year. But they are releasing soon, it says coming soon, these lashes. They're pink. The pink lashes. They are so cute. So, so cute. But it's not worth me placing an order just for lashes. Um, but how cute are they? I can definitely see them jumping in my cart when I do place an order at some point because they are so cute. I've been getting into like coloured contact lenses, etc. So yeah, I think coloured lashes would add something else a bit extra too. But yeah. I wanted to show them because they're just really cute. So next we have a couple of sneak peeks. Um, first is Madage Beauty. Um, this one is a new UK indie brand. I have spoken about this brand a lot recently. Um, so yeah, something super is coming soon. And the clue we have is a leaf. Now I see green and I love green so I'm hoping it's green <laughs> we'll see but yeah this is just a sneak peek just to let us know that something super is coming soon so 
I am very excited and as soon as I have any more information I will update you. So moving on I just have one left and this is Artitude Cosmetics and Artitude Cosmetics um, is releasing some new lashes, new designs and these from what I have heard are just really really fluffy foam ink lashes, really comfortable. Um, the design in this picture I believe is Heartbreaker. So yeah I wanted to give that a mention because I have quite a few pairs of Artitude Cosmetics lashes and I love them and apparently these are better so I'm so excited and I will definitely be trying at least one pair so keep your eyes peeled. But that brings us to an end. I tried not to add in too too much um, but yeah there's definitely some interesting launches there so yeah let me know if you guys have picked any of these bits up if you're going to be i'm interested in a few bits but we shall see so yeah if you've liked this video please give it a like thumbs up it really helps me out and if you're new around here then i hope you'll consider sticking around i do a lot of colorful looks and i am a huge supporter of indie brands so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time I upload. So that is it from me. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.